I'm trying to watch the Megan and Harry's interview. Now I'm like really proud that they did this for themselves and now they're able to speak out and tell their Can I get a grande um, ice white chocolate mocha with soy milk? Can you still want the whip? Um, no whipped cream. Good morning, everybody. It is early. The sun just came up and I, I'm doing my drill weekend. Um, today's the last day. Um, and then I've got to drive all the way back home um, and then go to work in the morning. Or actually, am I off tomorrow? I think I'm off tomorrow. Oh, that's a surprise. I've been like literally, literally dreading something I have to go to work. But um, yeah, I'm getting some Starbucks and um, oh my God, I'm so tired. Yesterday I went to bed at seven o'clock. I was that tired. Kenny called me like at nine and he was like, so what's going on? I'm like, what do you mean? I was like, I'm knocked out. Um, I think he thought I was like dead in a ditch or something but because I didn't text anybody back like I didn't hear my phone or anything so I'm still a little tired I got up super early the other day and um, to drive out here and I am I haven't recovered and I'm still a little tired but I don't feel like a zombie like I did yesterday so that's some progress but Starbucks and a tomato mozzarella panini will help it's also really cold. It was 29 degrees, it's starting to warm warm up. It's 31 degrees right now and has like a little frozen sign on there. And then when I checked the weather this morning on my phone, I wonder if it still says it. It was like special inclement weather statement, which means I think it might snow out here. It's saying sunny. The high today is 63, so it's gonna warm up, but it's time to go down south, guys. I, I can't do this North Georgia weather, I can't. It's too cold. Morning. Hello. 1220. Oh, it's supposed to be ice. Ice white mocha? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and make sure you're off your auto. Pretty sure she forgot. She forgot <laughs> she forgot a little bit of my order, which is fine, I don't really care. I'm gonna replay just to make sure I said ice. I know I did. Um, can I get a grande um, ice white chocolate mocha with soy milk? All right, thank you. Okay, you too, thanks. Okay guys, so I made it, or no, I didn't even explain to you what happened, <laughs> what I was doing. So I'm done with drill for the day, um, or for the weekend, and um, I'm meeting Amanda to eat, I guess technically this is lunch, kind of lunch, late, early early dinner, late lunch. Um, waiting on her in this parking lot here is pretty bad, so hopefully she finds a good parking spot, but I'm going to do that, and hopefully I'll have time to stop by my mom's, because I do have a pretty good drive back home. Um, but at least I don't have to work tomorrow, which is great. Um, so I can kind of take my time, but I'm just ready to get back to Kenny Bear. Um, and, um, yeah. So she said she was eight minutes away. I don't know if we can even, um, like reserve a spot. 
I just realized that this thing. Uh, there's like two of the same restaurant. Wait, wait, wait. There's like a restaurant there with the same name as that one over there. I just realized that. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for the day. Or the afternoon, I'll have to sneeze. I haven't been over here in so long. This place has changed so much. Where I grew this is I'm in the area where I like grew up and it's so crazy like how much it's changed since I moved. Good morning. Ah, it's the next day. It's a beautiful day. Um eight o'clock in the morning. I'm off today. Um so I'm just getting stuff together. I got home so late last night. Um like and I was exhausted, but I'm finally refreshed and feeling like I'm ready to go. Right now I'm just um wow my hair looks crazy. I just took a shower. Um what was I saying? Oh, I'm just moving my car closer to our house or apartment. Because after a certain time, like when it's super slow, I'm moving my car closer to our apartment. Um, because after a certain time of day, like towards the end of the night, um, what is that noise? Um, like parking spots are a little sparse, but I didn't have to park too far away. It's not that bad. And I also need Kenny Bear to get, is he looking out the window? Oh, no, I think that was that. Um, to get the stuff on my car. My dad, I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday, but, oh, let me straighten my wheel. My dad, uh, I saw my dad yesterday, and he, like, insisted to get me groceries. I'm like, Dad, I, I already have groceries. Like, it's okay. And I'm like, no, Dad, like, it's fine. But, you know, dads are just so cute. And he bought me groceries. Um, so I've got a few things, like, in the back seat and the trunk. And I also need to take, like, my duffel bag and stuff out of my trunk and get to that eventually. And I need to clean my car out again already. I need to go get it, like, detailed. But, um, what was I saying? I think once I get my oil changed, oh, it's dark. Sorry. When I get my oil changed, I'll, it'll, they'll clean it out for me, so. It's all good. I'm wearing these shoes. These slippers <laughs> so hard to wear. <sighs> but you're leaving. Oh, oh shoot. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's clear. You know what I realized? If I take my car, I'm gonna be stuck at Nissan. You can always walk back. They take forever to do cars. It's not like what when I used to go get my car done. And it was like maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. They don't even have, I mean I guess I could sit down, but like They but they they take hours, not Days. like an hour. Yeah. I'm sorry. I should like I did I walk and just walk. Uh, that was a good exercise. Smell put some gloves on. Yeah, it's cool. Can you turn the fan off? Appreciate it. Alrighty. Love you. Love you too. Serviced. I have to get my car serviced today. That's if I make it today. Uh, probably not gonna go. Let's be honest, because it's would it be me? I was gonna go yesterday, but it just didn't work out that way. I was gonna go to this place I go like near my hometown, but I did not. I ate instead. Oh, I don't even think I explained like what we did yesterday. So I left off um, going to eat lunch with Amanda and we went to this like fusion restaurant where they had like um, Middle Eastern food, like different kinds of Middle Eastern, Middle Eastern food. And it was so good. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably would have saw it, but it was really, really, really good. Jeez. He's looking for a suitcase in the storage. I guess he's gonna give it to somebody. Cause we don't use them. We had like so many suitcases and we 
never used them and we bought new ones. So it's only fair to give them away to somebody else who needs one. These are our last two cheeses. I'm trying to watch the Megan and Harry's interview because I didn't get a chance to um, yesterday because I was working. And I really want to watch it. Um, if you guys don't know, I, could, I really don't talk about it that much because I don't really want to bring so much attention to it. Um, but, you know, I'm like really proud that they did this for themselves and now they're able to speak out and tell their truth. And I think it's awesome. So, um, yeah, so I think it's great that they get to speak out and, you know, just tell their side of the story. I feel like it's only fair and I doesn't matter what kind of organization or anything that you're a part of it's not okay to be like silenced or bullied into now when I won't even say bully because obviously I haven't seen the interview and I don't know exactly like what went on or whatever but just to feel like you can't like you're forced not to speak your truth and I feel like everyone's is entitled to that so I think it's an an, an amazing thing that what they've done um, I've been watching The Crown and Carrie did mention that, um, you know, it's not, ex it's not exactly true everything, but he's like, it, it's, what do you say? He basically said it's, y'all are like, y'all are almost there. Like it was, it was, it wasn't all like the things that happened in The Crown weren't necessarily true, but just like how everything's ran and stuff. Like it's, Yeah. Um, which is insane, but yeah, I just I just feel like if you're born into something You're not automatically like obligated to Continue to do it like you know because at the end of the day All that matters is someone's happiness and if that's not making you happy and you have a family now That you created like it's completely different to be born into a family and then you created your own family and the family that you created is number one over anything so anyways i'm excited to watch it um, i'm trying to figure out how i can watch it because i missed it yesterday um so that will probably be the end of this vlog but i'm going to pick up and start a new vlog for today this is kind of a weird setting to end it but um i'm gonna finish editing this vlog and thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys